Hi, I'm Elizabeth with Oliver Smith Jeweler. I'm here today with Mr. George Reed, and we are talking about the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms, a brand and a watch that still has not yet hit its full potential. We're looking at a very special edition Blanc Pond chronograph. Blanc Pond has billed itself as the world's oldest watch company. Uh, Vacheron might differ with that, but either way, uh, established in 1735. Wow. Uh, it took a long time for them to get to this stage of the game. But uh, what I really like about the 50 Fathoms uh, is it is definitively the modern dive watch. Everything you know that makes a dive watch a dive watch started with the 50 Fathoms. Uh, right, so 1951, 51. 50 Fathoms. Yep. Yep. So, so 51 right there, it wasn't until 1953, 54 that the Submariner came out. So it wasn't until quite recently, Rolex kind of said, yeah, uh, we, took, we took a lot from the, from the Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms. But for me, the defining moment was when uh, Jacques Cousteau decided that he needed to wear a watch for his dives and he picked the 50 Fathoms. Got it. If the world's most famous diver picks your watch, yeah, it's probably a pretty good dive watch. I would say that's a good, uh, yeah, good stamp of approval for yeah, the dive watch. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, 50 Fathoms, the name stems from its original depth rating, uh, which nowadays is not very deep. Uh, now they're all rated to about 300 meters, which is much more than any of us will need. Right. But um, that's, that's the defining depth for for a, an ISO certified dive watch. Got it. Okay. And we see the 50 Fathoms. It's a big watch. Big watch. 45 big, millimeters. Yeah, yeah. Big dive yep. watch. Comes in steel, titanium. But this special edition we're looking at today is this really pretty rose gold. This is the rose gold. Yeah. Yeah. And the chronograph, which is a little unusual as well. Generally speaking, the 50 Fathoms will be a three-hander with a date. This is the chronograph version of it, which um, I, I absolutely love. Uh, it's 45 millimeters, so it's big enough that you can see all the information they're trying to present. And this gray colorway to the dial just highlights the rose gold so nicely. It, it's just, it's the colorway I've never seen before with the rose gold. And I was just enthralled by it. It's awesome. It give It's giving me like Lux Desert vibe. Yeah. Kind of it, well, especially out here in Scottsdale, yeah, it's very, very much the the, the the desert dive watch. Is that can that be a thing? Yeah, good point. <laughs> well, you never know, but it looks awesome. Yeah, but um, so forty five millimeters. Another uh, a key visual tell here is the sapphire bezel. Again, I've never seen anybody else do that. Moving forward into their bathyscast, they do more of a ceramic, mm -hmm. like some other companies. But this one, they actually do a sapphire bezel. It's a dome sapphire, and it's painted. The luminescent paint is on the bottom side. So when this thing glows at night, you're seeing through the sapphire to the glow. It's um, it's absolutely amazing. We'll try to get a loom shot in if we can, but uh, it's just absolutely a stunning watch. Chronograph, exhibition back. Which That's you, my favorite. Yeah, and they don't always do exhibition backs on dive watches, and I get it. It's another huge gaping hole that you have to seal. But uh, on their titanium pieces and their special editions, they do the exhibitions, and I'm um, always happy to see the movement. I'm really, really happy about that. And the that. shell's special on this one, right? The it is, yeah. They did, um, and has nothing to do with, with Paddock, but it's a Nautilus which is a deep diving uh, mollusk and this this is his shell and he would he would kind of pump air out but again it's just um a little nod to the depth rating of the watch so if you're not super familiar with Blanc Pond and the 50 Fathoms, definitely a brand worth checking out and learning more about. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer them below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.